First of all, I don't think anybody thinks it's a good idea to introduce new taxes. What we think is that there should be a redesign of what taxes are out there. Because they do nothing in terms of decarbonizing the industry. That doesn't incentivize anything on that. So this is not about reintroducing, you know, any taxes that is that is there, but basically fundamentally shift away on how we as an industry are in, in incentivized to decarbonize what we're doing. And if we've conveyed some impression that we think taxation on air travel or national taxation on air travel is okay, then I want to completely uh, remove any misconceptions. I mean, give you an example of what we're dealing with at the moment and why we're pushing for a single aviation market. The Austrians, the new green government, have decided that from the 1st of January next year, they're going to reduce uh, the, uh, the long-haul aviation tax, which is the most environmentally um, polluting form of air travel because of seat densities. They're going to reduce that and they're going to quad quadruple uh, the environmental tax on the look, on the short haul uh, travel in Europe. I mean, there's no environmental basis for that kind of a taxation move. It's just a tax grab. They have much more traffic traveling short haul, so they quadruple that. And they have fewer passengers traveling long haul, so they be seen to reduce that. So you reward the most polluting uh, form of air travel and you penalize the most efficient or least polluting so it's just one example you know, the taxation uh, this taxation is the wrong way to go we as an industry are investing huge sums of money in more efficient aircraft better at engine technology electronic uh, electric battery propulsion um, and those measures need to be sustained and supported as well as the development of uh, sustainable aviation fuels Taxation has done nothing for uh, Europe's passengers for the last 25 years. The UK raises, I don't know what the number is in uh, APD, billions each year in APD, and not one pound has ever been spent on the environment. We have sent three or four separate questions to the Treasury in the UK asking to identify even one environmental project that APD has been spent on. They can't identify one. Thank you. I think we need to... Uh, just to reinforce what Michael said, uh, so IAG paid 967 million euros in air passenger duty in the UK last year, you know, just one, and not a single cent of that money went to environmental research, environmental support, and you know, the idea that we add more taxes is just damaging to the industry because it's reducing our ability to invest in new technology and our ability to invest in sustainable biofuels, uh, our ability to invest in research and development. So, you know, that air passenger duty, as everybody knows, was introduced as a, uh, as a uh, environmental tax. Um, 967 million for one airline group in the UK, and not a single cent went to environmental research or improving the environment. And, you know, we've, we've got to start being serious about uh, joining up all parts of the uh, value chain in relation to addressing this uh, environmental challenge that we face. And as airlines, we're doing it. You know, we're, we're collectively, we're, we're investing billions every year in new technology aircraft, which are significantly more efficient than the aircraft that they are replacing. But yet we're not being able to fully exploit those aircraft with the technology that exists because we have a, a fragmented air traffic control system in Europe. So there's a lot that can be done uh, and the idea that uh, you know taxing the industry is going to make it better is a nonsense. It's not. It's just going to reduce the amount of money that this industry uh, can and is investing in new technology to try and improve uh, the environmental performance of our business. Thank you.